Hey everybody, this is Beatrice Potter well Webb by Grace Bootsma, 1858 to 1943. Okay, some background on Beatrice is, first of all, that her name wasn't actually Beatrice. It was Mar Martha Beatrice Potter. Um, she was born January 22, 1858. Um, she was born in a Sandish house in the village of Gloucestershire, England. Um, she was the daughter of a businessman, Richard Potter, and Laurencia Hayworth. One interesting thing about her family was that she was one of nine girls, and her only brother died when she was very young. This made a big impact impact on her life because throughout her life, her parents continued to mourn the death of her only brother and made her feel very inferior about what she was going through in her own life. Later on, she married Sidney Webb and they had no children. Her education. She was homeschooled and um, described her education as very broad. Throughout her life, she focused a lot on religion, but also studied philosophy, literature, the classics, modern language, history, mathematics, and science. She was really interested in religion because she was very confused by it and never felt like she really understood what it should mean to society. Some of her main contributions. She always wanted to have women equality in the workforce and really struggled throughout her life to find work that she wanted. And only through her husband did she really get the, equal get the equality she needed. So she continually fought through things that they wrote together. She applied the scientific method of observation, which is... Um, tied with the experiment, hypothesis, veri verification, um, to study all of the social problems, which is very interesting because we use a lot, we use the scientific method a lot still today. Um, the other thing she was really involved in was she turned government into a science in the interest of furthering socialist doctrine to combat social problems. Through this, she wrote cooperative movement in Great Britain which was based on all of her experiences in Lancashire. Um, this made a big difference to her and her husband and was a big part of her learning. Alright, her life and ideas. Uh, her and her husband became members of the F Fabian Society um this was a part of her life for many many years and throughout this time they co-authored books and pamphlets on socialism and the cooperative movement including the history of trade unionism in 1894 and industrial democracy in 1897 um, the Fabians used a donation from Henry Hutchinson, um, to found the London School of Economics and Political Science, which was a huge part, um, of their life and was where they developed a lot of their social ideas in London. Um. She never wanted to be conventional about marriage and was very interested in being adventurous with her husband um, and being like a deep thinker but um, not into romantics at all and really struggled with the idea of being a housewife or anything like that. Uh, she continued throughout her life with her partner but died at a pretty young age. Alright everybody, thanks. This is it.